Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our webinar on work in Estonia. My name is Leonardo Ortega, and I am the project manager of uh, the program Work in Estonia, which tries to bring in uh, highly qualified people towards Estonia. So I'm going to talk about the opportunities that you have of working in here. So why come to Estonia? Actually, uh, myself, I came first uh, to Estonia four years ago, and I came as a student, as many of you uh, probably are thinking of doing it. I studied a master's degree in, the Thailand, uh, in Tartu University on uh, political sciences, European Union and Russia studies. But when I came to Estonia, I knew that I wanted to do something else, not only to sit in the classrooms, but actually to take a different level of experience. So I started to looking into different possibilities of what to do in addition to my studies. And then I found an internship, not only in Estonia, but I found it abroad. I went to Edis Vitro, which is a think tank in, uh, in Kishino. And uh, when I was in my time in Moldova, I got some experiences in order to uh, widen my, uh, my field of practical uh, you know, experience in the field of political sciences. After that, I came back to Estonia. And during my second year, I found another internship in the Institute of Baltic Studies. While I was there, I was getting some ideas on what to do with my master's thesis. And uh, afterwards, I wrote my uh, master's thesis in, in the field that I was doing uh, in the internship. So during that time, I got not only the idea, but actually I transformed that internship into a part-time job, for which I kept uh, until I finished my studies. And uh, after my studies, I decided, well, why not stay in Estonia? I already had studied here, I studied the language, I made some friends and acquaintances, so I wanted to you know, experience something different. And then I went to Playtech, an IT company where I, I, I was like two years uh, working as a, um, a technical uh, account manager in this company. So uh, after that, after those two years, I wanted to share my experience. I wanted to talk about it and how like, cool is the opportunities of working afterwards. And so I took out this role of being a project manager at work in Estonia, in Enterprise Estonia. And I'm going to talk about it more, but you don't only have to believe it from me. You have to also hear other experiences. So let's watch this video about work in Estonia. This is Estonia, a land of virgin forests, enchanted swamps, and a rich medieval history. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is not a tourist video. Let's talk about something a bit more exciting. Oh yeah, I'm talking about work. What if I told you that the fastest path to your dream job could be in Estonia? Now I know what you're thinking. What could this small northern European country possibly have to offer besides some lake, all the trees? It's simple. Estonia offers all the same things other countries do, but much faster. Much, much faster. The opportunities are for everyone. I'm a foreigner, and I've landed my dream job here. Estonians have this cute lack of patience, which makes them inventive and creative. Almost everyone fills out their income tax online, and one third of Estonians vote online at home, or even in the club. Dozens of online banking and national e-services have become elementary for Estonians. Even Obama said, uh, I should have called the uh, Estonians when setting up our healthcare website. Uh, I should have called uh, the Estonians when we were setting up our healthcare website. When there's an idea, they want to get it done and get it done today. For example, you can access free Wi Fi from almost anywhere in Estonia. And for electric car owners, there are charging stations all over the country. And when everything gets done super quick, there'll be plenty of time to really enjoy your life. For example, ride a bike with a few friends or dogs. They also like to take photos of the sea, a medieval tower or a fish, then eat the fish. That 
means you can work with great names like Skype, TransferWise, Nortal, Pipedrive, and other game changers. You can do great work in other areas as well. You can make all the arrangements online before you arrive. Estonia is the first country in the world to offer its national e-services to foreigners. So you too can become an Estonian e-resident. It means you can digitally sign your new employment contract or start a company in Estonia all without leaving your apartment or hometown or wherever you might find yourself. See, Estonia really is the most talent-ready country in the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelt and come work in Estonia. The real express lane to your dream job. Work in Estonia. So, thank you very much for watching it. So, what did you think about it? How did it sound? It? I think if we want to say uh, why to stay in Estonia, well, the video talks about itself. You can also, uh, but I can actually also explain you a bit more about this, uh, about these things that Estonia has to offer. Basically, as the video said, uh, it's everything that a country has to offer, but much faster, much comfortable. So, for example, you have the possibilities for self-realization much, much faster. In order to move from one place to another, as you could see also from my example, uh, it is very simple. Estonia is not a big country, so it is easier to move from one company to another or to move inside the company uh, up the professional ladder as well. Moreover, if you like uh, you know, nature, Estonia is uh, over 50% covered with forest. You can drive anywhere up for about 20, 30 minutes and then you will most likely find yourself in a very nice plain with forest. And so it is very nature friendly and a clear, very, very clean environment as well, as it has one of the purest air in the world. Uh, another thing that Estonia has to offer is the e-solutions, which we will talk about it later. But this makes more easy to live your daily life, as well as gives you more time to enjoy other things, your other hobbies, uh, instead of just uh, losing time dealing with bureaucracy or other things. Uh, one important as well for internationals, for example, when I came, is the communication in English. Even though Estonian might be a complicated language at the beginning, uh, I managed to learn a bit. So I think uh, if you come to Estonia to study and then want to stay, learning a language is uh, one of the abilities that you need to uh, invest your time in. But if you are not very good with languages, then I don't think there's anything to worry. Communication in English is, uh, is sufficient here in Estonia and uh, you can uh, work in uh, different fields and also in different companies. And communication with young people and with everyone in the shops, in the banks, in other places, it's, uh, it's natural to communicate in English. And as well, uh, even though it's a small country, you have many of uh, cultural amenities. You can go to the theater, you can go to cinema. There are festivals, not only in the summer, but also in the winter. And even if you uh, want to take a change of scenery, then you can just uh, take a plane or take a train or take a boat, for example, to any of the neighboring countries. So I think uh, these are one of, or some of the main advantages that Estonia has to offer. But, uh, so let's talk about it. Uh, how is it to work during your studies? Uh, when I was here, I was trying to uh, look for a different experience, as I mentioned before. And uh, at the beginning, uh, I knew that there were some additional uh, regulations that I needed to fulfill, but now things have changed. Uh, now, if you are a student, an international student in Estonia, there are no need, uh, there is no additional need for getting a, a, a working permit. You can work as many hours as you want, as long as it doesn't interfere with your studies. Uh, so if you want to get a full-time job and you're also studying full-time, it's up to you. If you are up to the task, then you can do it as much as you want. But you have to finish uh, your studies on time and you also has, uh, have to do uh, the specific uh, credits that you actually uh, committed to when you first came to, to study in Estonia. But uh, there are no additional regulations, work as much as you can. What kind of works can you find here? Well, there are different opportunities, uh, which some of them might be like actual part-time jobs, you can find in the cafeterias, you can find in the cinema, something just to earn a little extra money. But if you actually want to experience more uh, uh, professional life related to your career fields, then you can find also internships. It is true that many times these are not paid, 
but I think the experience that you actually gain by being in these internships, different positions during two or three years that you have studies, uh, that's actually going to pay off in the long term. So, uh, and some of the internships, they even actually give you some pocket money, but you have to look for them. And uh, I was able to find one while I was studying, so I don't think it's impossible, uh, but you have to actually work for it. There are also some other sorts of uh, jobs that you can do while you're studying. Uh, there are trainings uh, that you can assist, conferences, uh, uh, seminars, uh, different workshops that you can do during summer, winter time, and uh, even after your studies. And sometimes you can even get credits for these sort of internships or these sort of trainings. So I would advise you to actually look not only at specific jobs, but also at the wider rate of opportunities that you have while you are studying in Estonia. And volunteering, even though this one is not also a paid job, it, will, it can also give you the practical experience that you never know when will you be able to use it. I was actually a volunteer myself at the Tartu, at Tartu University with the International Student Ambassadors, and uh, it gave me a lot of contacts, a lot of uh, good friends, which now I can actually use uh, for my professional and for my personal life. So I think uh, working in Estonia is not only about the specific jobs, but also about the whole opportunities that you can do that can enrich uh, your way into your future professional life. But the most important question is, when you come to study to Estonia, is if you really want to uh, work after or during your studies. So make that question, and once you answer that yes, you want to do it, then you have to do your homework. You have to work towards this goal, and you have to investigate, you have to read, and you have to look for those opportunities. But I think those ones who are proactive, those are the ones that actually will get a better uh, job opportunity or a better uh, future professional life. So uh, how is it to work after the studies? Uh, for the non-AU students, you can get an additional six months after graduation to find a job. That means your residence permit for studies just extends in order for you to stay legally in the country and have six months for actually finding this job position. Uh, there are some advantages uh, compared to other international people that just want to come uh, towards working in Estonia, because as an international student that you graduated from uh, Estonian University, then you actually do not need uh, to have a, a salary criterion. You don't need a permit from the uh, Unemployment Insurance Fund in Estonia, which other international people just coming to work actually have to fulfill. So there is an advantage that you can stay here and you can find a job easier. Maybe a basic position and then you will move up on the ladder as, as you are actually uh, achieving more success during your professional life. And then uh, the residence permit for employment needs to be, uh, needs to be uh, you need to get one after you have secured the job. So during those six, uh, six months that you have after uh, the graduation, once you find the job, you do need to change uh, your uh, residence permits towards an employment one. But uh, this is just, uh, it's quite simple. You have just to reapply uh, for, with some uh, documents and also with your um, uh, diploma from the Estonian University. And then you will get it uh, in uh, between two and three months, depending on the time. But it is very simple. Just find the job and no other additional uh, bureaucratic problems if you want to stay after the studies. And now, just discussing a bit, how is it to work in Estonia? How, what are the conditions or what can you expect about it? Uh, the average salary is a, a bit over 1,100 euros per month, and the minimum salary is around 430 euros per month. And we're talking here about a full-time job, which means uh, 40 hours per week, usually from Monday until Friday. Uh, of course, this depends on what kind of positions you are looking and what kind of areas uh, you are uh, expecting to find a job in. But uh, a positive thing about uh, Estonia is that there is a very regulated and strict uh, labor market. You don't have to worry about uh, someone is trying to uh, cheat you on the job contracts or someone is trying to uh, hide something from you. It is usually explained in the contract all the things that you're supposed to do, uh, how many hours are you going to work, and uh, if you actually need to work some extra hours or do some extra job, then usually you can agree if you're going to have some extra holidays or uh, some extra salary. 
uh, this is very much regulated and there is no need to worry about, uh, about any problems in this. But one of the things that I like the most about working in Estonia is the relaxed world culture. Uh, there is a work, a personal, uh, ba personal life and a work balance. Uh, everyone understands if you are feeling a bit uh, ill, if you have some personal things that you have to take care of, then uh, your employer usually grants you uh, a lot of flexibility in what you can do and what you cannot, uh, and what you cannot do. So I very much like that I have a lot of time that I can take for myself and also uh, that uh, no one is checking on you that much. They do trust you. So if you are good at your job and then you want some independence, then I think it's Estonia, Estonia is, uh, is one of the best places to, to acquire that. I have worked in, uh, in places uh, from the government and also in the private sector and also in the uh, non-governmental organizations. And it's always, it's always like this. And even though at the beginning you, they, you might have heard that Estonians are a bit uh, quiet, once you start uh, working with them on a day-to-day -day basis, they actually open up and they, are, they can make you know, as much noise as, as any other uh, countries. So uh, this is something that I, that I really like, the relaxed work culture. And one additional thing is uh, meritocracy. Here it doesn't matter if you are young, if you just started, but if you are actually working your way through, if you are interested in what you're doing and you like it, and you are showing that with results, then it's very easy that you will be promoted, that you will get uh, probably a salary increase, or do you, more opportunities will come just like kind of knocking at your door. Uh, it doesn't matter if you come from another country, most likely if, you're, if you have what it takes and you're actually uh, working towards that goal, uh, you can jump through, through this uh, professional ladder quite easily. So it's not uncommon here to see very young people holding higher positions. So I think Estonia is a place, as the video say, to actually fast, fast track your career. It can, uh, when in other countries the competition is so tight, in Estonia there is a bit less people, the work culture is more relaxed, so you have more time actually to dedicate to the job and you will see the results of that way, way more faster. And about e-Estonia, I'm not sure if you have heard, but uh, Estonia is quite a very advanced country in digital solutions. Uh, when I have declared my taxes, I have done uh, for about two or three years, and it just takes uh, usually five minutes and a couple of clicks on the internet. When I have to digitally sign a document, let's say a contract or any other things, I also do it online, uh, either with my uh, ID card or with my mobile ID. And many things you can do it from the comfort of your house. You can check your bank statements and you can check any other things that you have to, uh, that you have related to the country. So making lines in the offices and uh, spending time just going to an office and a government office and then from another one, you can usually forget about it. Uh, the only thing, the only document that you're gonna need is your uh, residence permit and after that, you can do almost everything that is related to the country with it. So it's uh, very comfortable and it leaves you a lot more time either to work or to actually focus on your hobbies. So there is no, there is no uh, problem with this. And uh, for those that are interested in opening their business and uh, they have an idea, I think ideas are very much uh, appreciated here. If you have an idea for a, a startup business, then there are usually many people and many companies and many organizations that promote this startup culture. Uh, you can find um, most of the times like some sort of funding, some sort of uh, support that can uh, turn this uh, business into life. And as you know, Estonia has one of the most, uh, uh, the most startups per capita in Europe. So it shows actually what kind of uh, people uh, like to come here and, uh, and work towards this, towards this goal. So what, are, what could be the negative sides of, uh, of being an international student and actually coming to work towards Estonia? Uh, lack of fluency of Estonian language is one of them. It, is, uh, it does like narrows down the opportunities that you have, but my personal perspective is that you're, if you're coming to a new country and you actually have uh, opportunities of learning the language, which you usually have, 
uh, if you are studying in, uh, in uh, any of the universities in Estonia, then you should take them and you should learn a bit because it really opens the doors. So you can turn, out this, uh, turn around this challenge of not knowing Estonian, but while you are studying here that you can actually learn something and this will definitely open more doors later on in your professional life if you are planning to stay in Estonia. And another challenge is that uh, it's, it might be too IT oriented. There are, most of the offers uh, are for IT uh, developers and uh, coders, etc. If you are into IT, then this is not a, a, a challenge, it's more of an advantage. But what it means is that uh, if you are in other fields, then you might have to look, uh, a, you, ha you, you might need to be a bit more thorough in looking the job opportunities wherever you can see them. Uh, I will talk about where to find them, but it just means that you have to look a bit more carefully for these opportunities, because there are, and there are plenty of them. I didn't study IT myself, and I found many opportunities, and I'm not the only one, but I have found many other persons who have done it. So this is just one challenge that also can be overturned. And uh, on the positive side, if you are an international student, then it means that you are fluent not only in English usually, but also in other uh, in other languages you might be. Um, there is also, you have the advantage that you have a different background, you come from another country, you do things different, you think in a different way, so this gives an additional extra, some sort of spice to your curriculum. Uh, if you have had any other experience, professional, internship, volunteering, etc., in your own country, then it means that you have an advantage there and you should definitely use it when you're trying to apply for a job in Estonia. International experience, it uh, leads with the same uh, that I discussed before. It's something that uh, gives you an extra. Many other people here have a little less experience. So if you have worked in an intercultural environment, you have worked with people from different places, you know how to communicate across borders, then this is something that you want to definitely mention and bring it up in your CV. So how to find a job in Estonia? Well, uh, there are several places where you can find. First of all, you, of course, the internet. And there are many different websites. Uh, the usual uh, places uh, would be like Seve Keskus and Seve, which are places where you can just uh, find uh, uh, jobs, like a usual uh, job portal. But there are, for example, other more interesting solutions. There is Go Work A Bit, where you can find uh, part-time jobs usually. So this is specifically attractive for students. There is also Jobatical, where you can find more short-term jobs uh, also as well in Estonia. Not part-time, but just like uh, if you want to try and see how it is it, but you don't want to commit in the long term, then you can always check out Jobatical as well. Uh, the universities also have done uh, to the Web, where you can find the different sort of jobs uh, which are looking actively for students. And if you want all sorts of arrays of jobs in Estonia, then I would recommend you our program website, workinestonia.com. But one thing I have learned as well, being an international student, an international person uh, in Estonia, is that uh, friends and acquaintances is a very important uh, job uh, job hunting uh, tool. Uh, whenever you come to Estonia and you communicate with people in different places, you communicate with your teachers, that uh, opens doors for later on. If they are looking for someone with your profile, then they might approach you with a specific uh, job offer. So I think uh, leaving a good impression and uh, talking to as many people as you can and uh, socializing and make, building these networks will not only help you uh, get a job, but it can help you do many things, and not only in Estonia as well, but it can build a very global network, which is very important in the professional life in the future. As well, there are other tools, such as Facebook groups. Uh, very active people are sometimes just posting job advertisements over there, and you can as well post your profile, so they can, uh, you can let them know that you have this specific profile and you're looking for something. Uh, there are just a couple of examples here. As well, there is a university counseling groups where you can, uh, you can get more information about where to do the internships, what kind of opportunities would be for you, how is basically the labor market in your specific area or in your specific field, etc. 
and there is also for those that are more interested in the in research then there's the EURES uh, program which uh, helps you find places and not only Estonian as well but also across borders on research more specifically on more than academic life and as well direct contacts uh, usually Estonians uh, tend not to approach very much directly uh, people or companies because they like more their own personal space but uh, for example me I'm from Mexico so uh, I like to approach people I like to talk to them and I like to discuss uh, directly if we can so if you also have this advantage uh, that you're uh, cultural culturally you like to talk to people sometimes this is a plus and uh, also going directly to companies talking directly to people might get you uh, a different uh, perspective and also a different opportunity about uh, where to find this, these jobs. So, working in Estonia webpage not only contains the job offers, but actually you can uh, get all the information about coming to Estonia, living in Estonia, what are the requirements, and uh, if you are interested also more specifically about details about the working conditions, about how is everyday life, and uh, what you need to know about insurance, uh, about housing, about putting perhaps you know kids in the kindergarten, then you can find all the information in workinestonia.com website. As uh, you can see on the slideshow, there are many uh, companies, as the video said, that are game changers. There are companies that are growing fast, that are getting more known in the world, and uh, you can participate in building these companies. They usually, as they are growing fast, then your opportunities for professionally growing fast are the same as the company has. And there are also some other companies who have been uh, game changers for a long time in the market, and they also have decided to have their headquarters in uh, Estonian cities. So I would advise you definitely to come, give it a try, and uh, if you don't hear it from me, you don't hear it from the person, there is also some other videos in the Work in Estonia website where you can learn more about different experiences from different countries all around the world and uh, this person is coming here and study in Estonia. So what are my tips to you if you are a student, uh, a student and then you are coming to Estonia? Is that uh, definitely learn the language. Uh, you can learn a bit some basic phrases, mm -hmm. you can learn some uh, small things or you can try to you know go the extra mile and learn the whole language but whatever way you do it it opens doors uh, to the people and people open doors to you towards the towards the labor market so uh, learn the language and learn the culture and be appreciative of uh, of what is here another one is talk to people as i said uh, approach them discuss with them directly and discuss whatever they uh, need to, whatever whatever you need and whatever what are your concerns about working in Estonia or studying in Estonia. The more you ask, the more information you will get. Uh, I'm also as well, leave my contact at the end and you will have the opportunity to ask me any questions uh, if you want. Uh, one more thing is to be proactive. Uh, usually the people that uh, get the best opportunities are the ones that are looking for them. If you are in university and you actually want to work, then actually do your homework and, uh, and work towards that goal. Look into the different portals, look into presentations. If you're looking at this webinar there, most likely it's because uh, you are actually very interested in the working opportunities. So don't hesitate into checking every aspect of what has been in the presentation and then make more questions about it. But you have to take that step because otherwise uh, no one will actually, you know, just hand you in uh, a paper with a specific job offer. And the most important thing is that uh, be prepared. You never know when things, uh, when a new opportunity is gonna be. You never know when a new uh, job offer is gonna just step next to your door. So you always have to be prepared, uh, have an updated CV ready, have uh, a specifically points that you think are your strengths and also what could be your weaknesses. So whenever you get this, uh, this question, this offer, then you can always uh, be prepared for it. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions or any doubts, you can visit our website, workinestonia.com, or you can also send us an email at info at workinestonia.com. Thank you.